Because this is a, uh, well, my try to do a take on a Beeman P multiplayer tutorial. Um, so, a lot of the uh, stuff I've seen before has just been either very confusing or it's just outdated. So, I thought I'd give uh, my take on it. But uh, first of all, you're obviously going to want to navigate yourself to a bmmp.com head over to the download server I mean I've already got it downloaded so I'm not gonna bother downloading it again but um, once you've got it downloaded all you need to do is run uh, we won't start with that one is run the uh, bmmp server then you'll get this resources folder um, go in there automatically I mean I don't know I could be wrong it could just come automatically but I think you have to run the server to get your resources folder and then once you've got that um, you need to navigate to a different website which is called uh, wiki.beam.com it's pretty easy to get to so first of all on here what you want to do is you want to go to this one at the top here keymaster and then once you're on there, you will have to authorize your account to sign through in, to Discord through into this. And then it will bring you to this page here. Ignore all this. It's, I think it's still under the development, so it don't really get any information on there. I mean, at least I don't. Uh, I mean, you get some information here, but don't really know what it means personally. And then down here is where you get your keys for your servers. So you can only get two at the moment. I think that's good only going to be their thing, but um, yeah, so you obviously there's a list of current keys. If you want to start more servers, then you need to generate an authentication key here. Click on that once or twice, how many servers you want, which is obviously two is the max. You do not want to be sharing your uh, key with anyone else, that is for you, your uh, information and your information only. So once you've got that, also just to add to it, your IP here is something you can put in yourself. Does I don't think it matters what it needs to be, but I've just put in my IPv4 address in there just in case. <clears throat> Name again in this part doesn't make a difference at all. So you can put I'm a big fat dick here, and it's not really going to matter. I don't think, but I probably wouldn't just in case. Um, so yeah, once you got that, you got your authentication keys. You want to navigate to the BeamMP folder again. So once you're back in here, you'll have a server config.toml file. So what you want to do on that is right-click on it, edit with whatever Notepad of choice. I just use Notepad plus plus just because that's what I prefer. So then in here, this is where you sort out your server description map name and what map it's going to be on your max cars that people can use the max players that you can have in the server whether the server is private or uh, public it's all found in this little window here well i say little window in the notepad so first of all you've probably already spotted it well i'm going to be blowing my one out so you can't host my server i mean not that i'm gonna be bothered if you, if you want to host my server you can but uh i'd rather you didn't so yeah this is where you put your authorization key in this part here so delete whatever's in there in between your uh whatever these parts are called oh, i'm not very good with grammar so debug all the debug is so i shall bring it up for you here so i've already got some of my servers running so the debug so we've already got sit someone in here so normally when you start it up it will just come up with blah 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 uh, tell you what, I'll do it on my other one. We'll just minimize that one. Make sure I've got no one on this one. All right, yeah, so no one's on the, my second server, so we'll just close that down. Bring this up. Go to my server too. So the best way to do this is when you run it, is you want to right click and run as admin. And it will come up saying all of this. PPS monitor starting, and it will come up with authenticated session. And that's just your heartbeat. So if you want the debug stuff, that's what all this is, where it says debug, tells you pretty much all the information what you've put in into the uh, config tunnel and then well it's up to you what you want to have in there I mean I have it on there just so you get a little bit more information uh, like in here you get the uh, debug for what uh, he's trying to do if he's created a car or whatever etc 
and then if you want to find the server name or try and to, or to make the uh, sorry let me start that again so if you want to get the map name for the file you're looking for so I've obviously got my first one as Nordschleife so if you navigate to your folder your beammp one whatever whatever one it's on you want to go to resources and this is where you post them uh, place the mods for your server so you want to go into resources and client and this is where you'll um, have all your mods for the server and then if you when you've got your map that you want to use so I've got KS Nord you want to open that up bring it over and then there's another way to do this but this is the easiest way so you just come into it open that up and this is what you need to type in here so if you're just using a vanilla map if you go back to the functions and event website and go to create a server this is just a, uh, a very basic tutorial on here and then if you scroll down oh, uh, okay no it's not in this one it, it, it must be in server maintenance where is it ah here we go it was there so yeah this is all the names for the vanilla maps so if you just got west coast you just go in there and type in west coast USA pretty much just make sure you got your little oh, I forget what they're called <laughs> I'm terrible at this and uh yeah so that's for that and then yeah so if it's chaos Nord, you want to do that just copy exactly as it says in there and then if I go to my other one server 2 resources client because uh, this is on off-road trials on the Hendrix trials and then it will be levels and even though it's called Hendrix trails or off-road trails it's called the map name is rain so it can be a little bit confusing yeah so the other method that you can uh, find the map name is if you navigate over to the server BMMP go to the very uh, beginning overview and setting up the server and then down the bottom here there is a little bit of code here or line of code command whatever you want to call it so if you copy that blah, blah, just copy whatever go to your game play free roam well, I'm just going to do it quickly on my server so you can see it quickly and yeah we just do it like that connect and obviously if you're hosting your own server and you connect to your own server it's going to be a darn sight quicker connecting to your own server than someone connecting to your server because obviously you've already got the mods downloaded etc so it's just basically just got to double check that you've got those files in there so yeah, and once you're in the server or whatever you want on that you want to check the name for hit your at comma whatever you want to call it button it'll bring up a little window here and then you literally just paste that into there hit enter and it will come up with your name there Right, so now we're getting to probably the technical part of the tutorial where you actually need to set up a port forwarding so I had to do the port forwarding through my actual internet provider like website app you want to call that um, so I, I'm using BT internet so I would obviously go to my IP through that and then enter it through there I'm pretty sure you can work out how to do that I'm not getting up my uh, internet browser and all that just to show you all of my uh, information and blur everything out so make this video a lot harder to edit so I'm not going to be showing you that but the other part I will show you is the, is the part where you need to actually set up the important part of the port forwarding so you want to navigate to your settings you want to go to Windows Firewall once you got there you want to go to advanced settings You'll get that come up, just yes, and then there it is. Can be a bit of a bitch to find sometimes. You want to go to inbound rules, you want to add a new rule, and oh, I've already got some made up. So, wherever they are, if I can find them, I can never find them. Where are they? Here they are. So, 
I've got my BMMP server number one and number two. So you need, so let's just focus on these two. So this is for my first server. So you've got port one and port two. So for this, they need to be, I'll tell you what, I'll just like make a new rule so you know how to do it. So you want to go to new rule, port, next. So your first one wants for, wants to be for TCP. So you add one for TCP with your 30814, blah, 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 whatever your port is in here. Go to next. Uh, right, yeah, it's just whatever. It's not actually gonna be that, but you go to next. Okay, all right. Um, we'll just do that for example. Go to next. You wanna go to allow the connection and then next again. And then have the main and private next. And then name it whatever you wanna call it. I mean, I've just called my ones um, BMMP port, uh, server one, port one, and port two, and then similar thing again. Just called them, yeah, server two, or server number two, port one, port two. So you want to do that again. So if port one wants to be UDP or TCP, and then port two wants to be the one that that isn't. <laughs> So hopefully this tutorial has been a little bit easier than just trying to guess work and trying to find support from Discord channels and maybe getting lost in translation. But either way, I hope this has helped a bit more than the trouble I had when I was trying to set my server up. But um, if there's anything else that you want to know, uh, you can either join my Discord, which I'll post a link to in the description. I'll post a link to the BeamMP uh, Discord in the description. And yeah, well, I just hope this helps and hope my rambling mess hasn't been too bad. Alrighty, take it easy, folks.